Hi, I'm Sharon from High Fashion and today I'm playing with a new coffee machine which I've just gotten from Lavazza. It's a special Wimbledon limited edition coffee machine from Lavazza and I've actually never made my own coffee. I'm kind of useless in the kitchen as in very, I don't hang out here a lot. So I've never actually made my own coffee or been anywhere near a coffee machine. Which is when Coffee Cat, come on, you've definitely seen her on my blog. She's the coffee expert. She's a mini barista. Yeah. 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 So she'll be helping me, teaching me how to make coffee and what all the buttons do. So let's get started. Right, so we've turned it on so it's nice and hot. We filled up the water at the back. Uh, what would you fancy today? Can I have an espresso please? Yes, you know. Thank so you. it comes with these really handy little pods. You can get them in different strengths. Um, and some of them make long drinks for you. But if we're going to have an espresso today, we take our pod. Then we just, we've got a glue on, just pop it in this way. Like so. Get our little espresso cup. And this is for an espresso. I love it. It's literally one button. Ooh, it's coming out. It smells amazing. Fresh coffee in the house. Oh yeah. And you can also make a long coffee as well. So if you only have time for an espresso in the morning, which one? You should do. I like to spend my morning doing my hair. An hour of my hair in the morning. And I was like, oh my god, I'm late! <laughs> so it's kind of perfect because it takes two yeah. seconds. No brewing. Um, but if you want to make like a latte, I'll do some latte out and stuff like that. Yeah. It's got a handy little uh, nozzle here, which is your steamer. So we've got some milk in here, we've got soy milk because they're super healthy. And everyone in my house is lactose intolerant, so we don't actually have any real milk. So this is our little steam nozzle here. And our button, so as it's splashing, we just wait for it to heat up the steam. We've also got this twisty knob on the side here, which um, allows for us to change the pressure of the steam going into the milk. I'll take a picture of the knob. It's, it's good fun. So now it's stopped splashing. I'm presuming we're good to go. So if you see, that's the steam that's coming out. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that into the milk at the bottom and turn the steam on. Ah, and you just do that, and you just blend in the milk, which is awesome. And what it does is at the same time, it heats the milk up. Now, usually you do this in a metal jug. Which we don't have any in that. <laughs> we improvise on kitchen. I'm telling you, I do not do this kitchen at all. So, this is a lot properer than I would usually make. You just tap it down. As you can see, your milk is lovely and hot. So it's not too hot though, so again, you won't burn your mouth going out. Next, good. You just tap the air bubbles out and give it a little swirl. And if you want it hotter, you just put some more in there. And then what you do is you can either pour this into another cup with your espresso in, or as we've got the espresso, we've just dropped that into there. Now you can't do latte out that way, but that will be a really nice coffee. Yeah. Do you want to try it? Do you want to try it? It should be nice. It would be all scared. Just give it a swirl. Do you need some sugar in it, Sharon? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Really nice. Fresh coffee. Yeah. I don't know. What that? Five minutes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I'm taking part in the new tradition campaign with Lavazza, which should be a lot of fun. So watch out for my tweets and my Instagrams and pictures over the next couple of weeks when I learn how to use this baby. And I have some masterclasses coming up as well. Yay! Thank you.